Hi folks and good evening and uh, well good, good late afternoon as it is. Right, I've got this uh, I've got this uh, record player. It uh, belongs to Jay uh, from Jay's uh, Vintage Junk. Uh, he's dropped this off to me uh, to ask me uh, if I would uh, sort out the uh, the Calaro deck. Something like that. Uh, would I sort out the Calaro deck for him? Um, and I said yes, I would be glad to. Um, I'm not going to touch it. Just put his record somewhere safe. Um, I'm not going to just put his record under there. Be all right. Uh, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to service the amplifier. I'm not touching the amplifier in this whatsoever. Uh, because Jay is going to do that himself. He just wants me to do uh, the deck and only the deck. Because I even offered to put a new power lead on and he wants to do it all himself. So I'll leave that for Jay and I'll do this. He was here today. He's a good friend of mine, Jay. Uh, top fella. And uh, basically, uh, what we need to do to start with is we need to remove the circlip which has gone under the turntable that, that's fine uh, it's gone under the mat but that's okay at least you know where it is now what I want to do I'll lift this up ooh right yes and the the unique thing about these Calaros is I'll just move my phone because I'm the thing you need I will, I will tell you before I go any further the thing you will need when you're doing a Calaro, you will need a mobile phone or some sort of digital camera. I'll leave the circlip under there because it won't get lost, I know it's there. Uh, you do need some form... The Oh, the idler's gone rock hard in this, Jay. Uh, oh, look at that there, there's a big notch in it, look. I'm wondering... I'm actually wondering if I can swap these idlers. Uh, because look at this here folks, there's a big, how am I going to deal with that? Look at that, there's a big notch in the idler. Anyway, uh, what I might have to do is, if, the, if they're the same idler or similar, they look the same similar size, you swap this one for this one. If not, there's going to be a lot of filing down. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, we're okay. Oh, no, we're all right. Uh, this is the speed idler. This is the one, this bottom one is the one that does the speed. This top one is the one that does the automatic mechanism. Yeah, so we're okay. We'll be able to do something with that. I'm sure of it. Be able to do something with that. But uh, it's hard. And uh, the automatic mechanism we've said is seized. The motor's not seized. Speed control isn't seized. Start. That. See that's got to be dealt with because otherwise you're not going to get. Uh, I'm going to have to plug this in. I know. I know Jay's had it plugged in because you said the cartridge had output, so I'm going to plug it in. And that's the mechanism wound down. So 
So what we need to do there, that's, that's the mechanism wound down now, back to how it should be. So basically what I'm going to have to do is take the deck out. Let's just check the output. Yeah, there is some output in that cartridge, but not a lot. Anyway, that's not my concern. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, that's not my concern. Because uh, he wants to deal with that himself. So we'll take the cartridge out. But I always do. I mean, it has got some output but there's not a great deal there so we'll take the cartridge out because I'll need to wash the deck and I don't want the cartridge getting any worse than what it is I mean we'll put the bits into the turntable for now we've got an earth there which has got to be soldered back in that's fell out from somewhere that's, well it's fell out from there I think we know that so that's got to go back in uh, and one of the cartridge pins has come out with the, I think they unplug actually as well so I've got one of the cartridges that do that yeah they unplug uh, anyway so I'll put the cartridge there don't need to worry about it there's, that was one stylus Uh, anyway, um, let's get the plug out. Well, what I'm going to what I'm going to try and do, try and do something with this. Try and do something with this idler because that can't be left like that, and it's never going to work like that. So I might have to come up with some sort of ingenious some sort of ingenious plan on how I'm going to make that work I'll, I'll think I'll work on that I'll think about that but in the meantime uh, the one ingredient you need to make sure that you have when you're going to work on a Calaro deck is one of these because they have a camera on them and you will need photographs right I'm going to get to work folks I will be back when I've got the deck out of the record player out of the case now I'll tell you what, I'll stay on, I'll tell you why, because I need to, that doesn't, thing here. I'll try to find which of the screws, it's these ones here, that you remove to get the deck out, there we go. We'll give this all a real good servicing and we'll try our best to get it to work like new. Uh, uh, that's one of my favourite mottos folks, strive for perfection in everything you do. Just move the, I like the toenail on these, they've got the shape like a cobra's head. They're actually known as a cobra arm. Uh, lovely tone arm on these. These are lovely decks as well. It's got that control arm in the middle. Uh, these, these are lovely decks. I mean, they're well engineered. I mean, right, because I'm going to be turning it upside down, I want the ball race. I want the ball race out of it. So I don't lose any of this. I mean these ball these ball bearings, these are dry as fuck, they need to be. I don't wanna lose Don't wanna lose these. Look at that they're dry as fuck, they've not seen any you can no grease in them. They've not seen any grease for years. Now let's get this rubber let's get this rubber gasket thing up. That's got to come out. That's rub that rubber, believe it or not, is still pliable, which is more than I can say for the idlers. 
this could take some fucking doing to sort this but we'll do it hopefully because idlers for the idlers for this there are none so we've got to work out how to get that out because I'm gonna have to put that in the drill press and then have to flatten it down somehow I'm going to do something with it because there's no way I don't think I'll get that out of there there's two dings in it though there's one here and there's another one here so it's got to be done but I don't know how I'm going to tackle that yet we'll leave that for now right let's put the that there now let's leave now I should be able to lift the deck clear let's pull the plug out now I should be able to lift the, lift the deck clear. Of the rest of it. But I want to get it out all in one. I don't want to get the amp out. I want to leave the, want to leave the amplifier. Oops. Leave the amplifier in. There we are. And well, we found a little earth in there that could I could have undone that. Yeah, there's your little amplifier, solid state recce speaker. Uh, that little earth that's probably come off the bottom when I've undone it. Uh, there are your springs, but they don't they're not used in this. Uh, they're not used in this, so I'll, you know I'll leave them in obviously, but. They're not used in this. So what I'm going to do here, to make things easier, I'm going to snip the motor wire because I can rejoin them. Uh, are they the same colour? No, one's white and one's yellow. So I'm going to, I'm going to just snip them for simple for, for ease of doing the job. And just snip the input off. And that gets the deck out of the machine then, you see. That means that we're free now. Anything interesting rolling around in here? Oh, he's got his job cut out for him. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of crap in there. I'll clean some of that out, but uh, yeah. And there's his output valve, main transformer. Yeah. Speaker trans output transformer. Yeah. Oh well, that's all his problem. And I'll sort the I'll sort the deck out for us. Would have got the right lead, wouldn't it? I'll, I'll sort the deck out. I've got to leave the man something to do, and I folks I can't do everything. I can't be greedy and do everything. So what I'm going to do? Yeah, uh, what I'm going to do? The screws that have come out of the deck. I'm going to put back in the case here. I'll put the cartridge in there as well. Right, so they're the screws that have come in the cartridge screws. So that's all come out of the case. Anything that comes off the mechanism. Now what I'll do, I'll go and put the case away. Now anything that comes off the mechanism. It's a lot lighter without a deck in it. Oops. Oops. There we go. Right, so I'll find somewhere to put this. Right. So even turn it the other way and make it a bit more stable. Yeah, that's better. Right. Well, the first thing we want to look at because it isn't seized. So the first thing we want to look at really is giving it a good wash and I think the best place to start is take this idler out and being careful not to lose anything and any washers, and, ooh it's a bit gummy down there, I'll, I'll clean up nice though. That's, Needs to be treated with a rubber renew. That's not too bad actually. That'll come up with a rubber renew. And 
there's a there's a no that's not I thought that was a rubber gasket oh it is uh, I thought, uh, that's a, what they call it a, a fiber washer or a very thin metal washer needless to say it has to come out there we go as I say folks taking the top bits off I'm not going to need to photograph it because I know where all this goes and I will actually see if I've got the manual in a bit so I can download the manual and have a look it's this idler here I need to get off because I want to work on that first because without, without that idler if you can't get that idler work I'm going to have to take the motor out right. so So we're already into, I mean the motor's going to come out anyway to be clean, stripped and clean, so may as well come out now and they only have to come out so far them screws, but I've done it all the way anyway. And if I'm right in thinking, This all probably drops out as a unit, which I don't want it to. I just want the motor. But I think it all comes out as a unit, this speed change mechanism. See, and that's where... See, that's where Calaro... Sort of over over engineered everything. Get a clip off there. Put that. See, I'm showing you as much as this as I can because I'm sure that's not a twiddly bit there that has to come off. And there we are. That just hung up from there. Uh, exactly uh, how it hung up. I'm not sure, but uh, it unhooks. So if it unhooked, it'll look back in. Uh, that should be blatantly obvious, but that needs a good clean, although the motor spin down is pretty good. Uh, yeah, it hooks into there for the, it hooks into there, it hooks into there to, it hooks into there to pull the, yeah, it hooks into the, yeah, it hooks into there, it hooks into that lip there. Goes into there, folks. Just get me pointy screwdriver. It goes into there. This locates to there. So we know where that goes. We're all right. Right now, we'll get the on-off switch out. Uh, is it is got a nut on the other side? No, it's, uh, it's got one of them springy clip things, which I absolutely fucking hate. Because they always turn and never come out and I've got to get it out because I want the whole fucking switch assembly out. So what we'll do now, we'll take the switch assembly off and we we'll use the... Remember when you do your, your tool selecting, select the right tool for the job. that complicated and look at that that's only the only that only holds the cover you've got to take the fucking other two screws out oh how, how about that one now we get the one that turns put that in there and I'll clean all these contacts up as well because Servicing the deck is part of my job, so I will actually clean the contacts up. I'll put the top on that for now and we don't lose anything from it. Put the top on there. And we don't lose none of that. Because all the screws and stuff will stay in there. They won't fall out or shouldn't do. 
Oh yeah, they do. Well, how about that one, eh? I didn't think they would have fell out of there, but yeah, they do. There we go. There's the potential to lose everything. And put this back in and tighten it up. It'll keep the switch together. There we go. Now, we're not ready for the motor yet, but that's the motor removed. Because what I want to concentrate on, actually, this is actually quite nice. This, this is not bad. It's got a few pubes and stuff in here, but there again, it's... It's old, it's bound to have. What I want to do is work out how you get this fucking idler off and I've just sussed it. Just spotted it. Uh, right. There we go. Get this idler off. Because we're going to have to work out something about this because we're, we haven't got a replacement. We're going to have to sort some out because unless I can fix this one there's no point in even considering. Unless I can sort this idler out. Well that should just pull off there now. There we go. And that comes out. So we'll take that gear out so we don't lose it. Because although it's been, st although it's been stubborn there's a couple of carbon, oh look at them, got them washer fibre wash. on there, fucking right load of them, uh, two of them, uh, three of them actually, uh, three, four, okay, you got all them on there, imagine if you lost that lot, anyway, we haven't, we've got them all there, so what we're doing now, we'll pull, I want to get out of there because I'm going to have to lubricate it anyway, and that see if I can just get it with this go we're out I want that out the reason why is because I don't know I don't decide it wants to slack it off and then lose it now there's pretty much not a lot else we need to take off here because as you can see folks you know we're uh, the business end is all around here all oh, this is nice and free just needs cleaning and lubricating it all got washed and cleaned lubricated and that's pretty much it so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the, the mechanism to the side there for a minute. There's a big lump of pubes that's come out of it. And what I want to do, I want to address, what I want to address is this problem here. Put them in so I don't lose them. Right. What I want to show you, I'll just zoom in. Oh, at least I will have a, have a find a fucking remote. There we are. Take my glasses off a minute. Right, what the problem is, folks, as you can see, look at that. I've got two big dints in the uh, in the rubber. Now, can I repair this by using the heat gun? Um, I mean, technically, the idler is toast anyway. But I don't want to make it any worse. But I am going to attempt... Just warm it so I can shape it by hand if I can. So, right, so, right, 
Well, we've got the bump out of the top. See if I can get it. Anywhere near the original shape. Then the rest can be done on the drill. See all the rubbers here, it's just been compressed. Yeah, coming out. Ooh. Let's zoom out a bit because you can't see what I'm doing here. There we go. So I can smooth it out once I've got it round. Well, this is about Ooh. we're nearly there. Well, that's about as much as I dare do with that, folks. Let's get the. Uh, let's find the. Fucking seen it before. Where is it? There it is. Let's get the sanding block on it and give it a, a wipe over. And there's my bearer board. I'm going to need that as well. There we go. Right. And all I'm doing now folks is just flattening the rubber out to just get it as round as I possibly can. I mean it's not too critical this because this is this is the idler for the automatic portion it doesn't drive the speed it doesn't drive the turntable it just drives the automatics Fucking rock hard that folks. But look at that now. Look at that compared to what it was. It's a lot different. I mean that was the end that was that was had that really big ding in it. And Might even have to put it in the drill. But uh, do this 
fit here because that had another ding in it. I mean that's that's rock hard that rubber. Really it needs a new idler but You know what I'm considering folks? Because that's I'm not convinced that that's gonna work very well. Let's turn the soldering iron off, I don't need that. Got soldering iron on I don't need. Now what I think is needed here now you see I've got a belt here. Uh, I'm not going to chop that one up, I'll tell you why. Because that's a good belt and it's for... I've been looking for that, it's for that disco console. But... Oh, hang on, I know where my belts are. What I'm thinking is... What I'm actually thinking, folks, if I can add a bit more rubber, you know, if I can, if I can add something rub, oh, okay, I've tripped over my shoe. Yeah. Anyway, if I can add something rubbery to it, like a tire, that would do the job. And there's my belt. So let's see what I can do about doing this. See what I can come up with. Get my belts out. I've got my idlers here as well. Unfortunately, my idlers, none of my idlers will fit this. I mean, in all honesty, they probably fit on the shaft. No, don't even fit on the shaft. None of them. No, none of them. No, none of them. And that's the original. Now what the idea is, what my plan is Now what I'm actually thinking folks is well, I don't know why I've saved that one, it's all cracked and fucked uh, Alright Let's find an idol, let's find a belt that's roughly the same width. See what I want to do is find one that's smaller. So that's smaller that that one's almost there but not quite. You can probably see where this is going folks. You can probably see where this is going. Now what my plan is, now what I can do, I can stretch a belt over there with no problem or whatsoever but I need a groove. I'm gonna have to, no matter how I deal with it, I'm gonna have to cut a groove there's a fly in here and I'll, I'm going to have to cut a groove and I'm not going to do it with that but what I need to do, I need to cut a groove I think I do anyway, let me try and get this on see if, if I had a groove in here it would be a lot easier See if I could cut a groove in here. Basically, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get this and it's, it keeps coming off. The reason why it keeps coming off is because there's no groove, but I need to get it on to get everything out, to eyeball everything, line everything up. Um, 
and right. Well, I know what I'm going to do here, folks. I've got the I've got I've got the I've got a plan. There's a thicker belt there, but that's too fucking big. I want to use one. Oh, what about him? Hey, he looks a bit better. Hey, he might be a better proposition. He's thicker. Yeah. And he's the right width. He'll do the job. And he's thicker. And he's a bit bigger. What the plan is... The plant, see, and if I put a groove in it, I can, it can be replaced if it needs to be in the future. It can be replaced. In fact, I want to get it on so I can get an idea. Uh, and this is proving to be a bit of a fucker to do, but there we go. Not allowed the tops come off. Right. I'll tell you what makes interesting viewing this, doesn't it, folks? But, but what my plan is, really, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a groove in here all the way around with the Dremel. I'm going to put carve a groove in a very shallow groove all the way around this rubber, all the way around the side, because that's, look, that's as hard as nails, that would never grip, look, that would, that would, that would never grip, it would never work, so basically I've got to do it this way anyway, I've not really got much choice, so what I'm going to do, that's not the one I selected, is it? where's the one I fucking said, drop the bastard and say, and there wasn't that one. I mean, the thicker the better, really. But it's that one. That's the one I want. And basically, I want to just get it on here. If I could just get it on there. So yeah, I could glue it, but I don't want to glue it because it might need to be replaced in the future. And if it needs to be replaced, you can just lift it off. A little groove in there will just hold it nicely. And that saves on two things. It saves having the rubber rebuilt. It saves on having to replace it. I'm trying to find another one would be nigh on impossible for one of these. So that's not an option really replacing it unless you can find a brand new stock of the fuckers somewhere put that gear back in there the other alternative but this is too fucking big was to use that belt but that's too fucking big that would never do even if you doubled it over look at that if you doubled it over right i'm gonna go folks because i want to get a brew i'd like to have used that but it's too thick and all the thick ones are too big. Oh, hang on. Yeah. All the thick ones are too big. But that's the right width. Because you've got to cut a groove and you've got to allow for that. So I reckon. I reckon even. I reckon. I reckon that they're slightly different sizes. So over, over and that one or that one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave it there for now. I'm gonna uh I'm gonna go and get and make myself a brew and I'll be back in a second. Right, what I've done here folks, uh, I've what I've done, I've cut a little groove into here and just take the screwdriver around it now to get out the excess that you don't want. There we go. It's not perfect, but shall we have a look? See if we can get a 
It could stay in my hands. I'd like it's sticking in someone's ass. Right, see if we get the idler, the new rubber tyre on. Well, the belt I'm going to use as a rubber tyre. It should fit snug actually. We want to get it on without twisting it. Uh, might need to make the groove a bit deeper. I don't want to go any deeper though. Well, we're on. Near enough. There, yeah, we're on. All I've got to do now is just take the twists out of it, and that's simple. Just turn it round. Oh, it's flopped off again. That's no problem. We know it will go on. And might need the groove a bit deeper, but we can do that now. We've got the initial groove. We can do that now without using a tool on it. A scribe will do it to just take away any extra material. I need to make sure I don't want to take too much away and make the idler too small. I mean, so far we're adding a bit of rubber and that's how I want to keep it. Oops. It's this bit here that's awkward. Which is where it was mainly damaged. But Let me get that straight all the way around. You know, that's not bad. That's not bad. Just get me scribe. I can reckon I can do that and just finish it off with a scribe. Just get that. So you just widen it slightly so that you can there we go let's just find the quality one No, I hate it when you can't quite put your fingers up there. Oh, well, there's one. Uh, that might actually be better. Because that should fit into the groove. Oh, yeah. That's actually fitting into the groove. I mean underneath there it's all metal I mean it's all metal under there I've just seen the metal plate but Leave that out a minute because I might need that again in a minute. But under there is all metal. So give this a quick sand round. 
There we go. Get anything out of that doesn't need to be in there. That's okay. Now, I would like to use a thicker belt, but unfortunately all the thick ones are fucking big. Like that fucker there, that would be great to use, but they're fucking big. So unfortunately I'm stuck with, I'm restricted to what I can use. But that's no problem. I mean, that one will do lovely. I'll get this smoothed around the right way. You've got to have it right, or as right as it's possible to get it. See, I might have to put a blob of glue in this anyway, but unfortunately, I might have to put a blob of glue in it as well, but it needs to be worked out so that everything's roughly straight, so that it runs lovely. I mean, this is only the auto change one, the speed change one's okay. You need to make sure that it's, everything's the right way around and doing it right. I mean, I'll probably have to put a bit of glue in this because it's... Yeah. Will that push into there? No, it won't. That's come off, but I will have to put a bit of glue in. Right, I'm going to have to put a bit of glue in it no matter how I do it. But I would like to have not put glue in it, but I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to glue it, I'm afraid. But. Basically, if I get the, belt, the rubber back on. The belt back onto the idler, turn it back around, try not make it fall off. I can show you. I mean, this is only for the automatic, so it's not really. It's not going to affect the, the way the turntable drives. I mean, it's like it won't make it speed up or slow down or anything, it won't play with the speed or the way it runs, I mean, that's probably about as good as I can get, but that has got rubber on it now. Right, so if I just show you this folks, right, this has now got, if I zoom in, let you have a look. I mean, this is the best I can do. There we are, look. I've got the... There we are. I'll, obviously, I'll make it a bit neater when I put it, put it in, but that'll at least now have surface for it to grip and for it to turn. If I put that on there... Look at that. You can't see that from there. If I bring the motor over... If I zoom out slightly, and there we go. Right, now watch the fan on the motor. I'll just hold that on and turn it, look at that. It fucking works a second ago. Well, that's why. That's it. There we are, watch that. There you go. Once that's moved in properly, it'll work. 
should work pretty good. Should work pretty good. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute, folks. Hey, folks, I'm back, and what I've had to have had to scratch the idea of uh, using the original rubber because I've had to scrape it all off. To be honest, look at this. That's part of the original rubber, and look, you can just tear it. Absolutely knackered. So what I've done, I've cut a new piece and what I'm going to do, I'm going to, it's only for the automatic so it doesn't have to be perfect. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to glue this, not tonight because I've run out of super glue. I'm going to glue this piece of rubber as near to the centre as damn it as I can get it. And get glue all the way around. So we get a nice tight bond and that should sort the problem out. So that's what we're going to try. Right, well what I've done, I've made a new rubber. Admittedly it's got something on it, I made it out of a coaster. But uh, that should now work. Might be a bit bumpy, I will smooth it off a bit if I can. But uh, that's... That should work. That should work. It's only for the automatics, it's not for the drive, so it won't affect the actual turntable drive. It's only for the automatics. It's only for the auto changer bit of it. And, you know, there's not really much else I can do about it. I mean, it was rotten, so it had to be changed. But uh, well, not really much else I can do. Uh, I don't have one, so I've had to make one. That should do the job. Yeah, it'll fit. It'll fit back in there. It goes there, and that that gear pit, that pin with the gear on it, goes through that hole there. What we'll do, we'll see if we can. Uh, well, I'm not going to be able to test it because I've taken the motor out, but there should be enough clearance. So we'll put the pin back in. There we go. Put the pin back in. Put that on the top there. There's well enough clearance. And the motor. Let's check that that sits on the top of the pulley. Which it should. It should. What I'll do is just stick the motor. Because it runs, it doesn't run on that bit there. It runs on that bit there. So if I just put. Whoops. So I just put the motor just there, which is where it would go. Yeah, because it goes onto there and turn that on, it got runs onto there. Now the motor and that's actually turning folks. It's not going to turn the mechanism, I don't think. Now, it won't turn the mechanism because the screws are on. So, let me just pause this a minute. I don't mind, I don't need to pause it and just get the screwdriver in. Just turn that. Well, it is turning it. Just tighten the screw up. I need to tighten one. Just there we go. Are oh, them screws going? Take a bit going in. That's it. 
Yeah, it's not going to go anywhere now. Now, if I get the motor. motor into there. there that's it just put the motor just just there and put the motor in the correct position there we go I mean once the motor's in the correct position the motor Let's just pop the motor back in for a minute. Goes all goes that way. No worries about the linkage connection up for the speed. Checking the video hose on. Right, let's get that. There we go. Right. Now, might be too fucking thick that. Might have to take some off it. <laughs> if I have to take some off, that's okay. But yeah, again, I can't see why. Oh, that's the wrong way. That goes there. Goes there. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. We had it slightly wrong. Don't need to put all the motor screws in, I think I'm going to need these two. There's no, what do you call it, rubber, no rubber suspension on this motor either. Yeah, need the two in it, there we go. Right, so, right, so should we try it? Who's that? So on. Let's lift that out so they Well, that seems to be working. Yeah, and once it disconnects. What we'll do, we'll give it some power, see how it works. Oh, fucking wires are green. Oh, no, I thought it was green and now I just got a cloth in them. Right. Get me. Be interesting to see how it works. It's a bit soft, this rubber, but uh, if 
this doesn't do it, I'll find some of that will. I mean, I, I know I can repl I know I can do it now, so. Right, well, it's not going to run, is it, because of the switch? Yeah, yeah, fucker. Connected because of the, because of the switch. But riding over that but we'll sort that out to sort that out Shut up. Right. Put that back there like that. There we go. Right, and that comes off there now. And then... Once the record of the arm's gone over, that's it, and then it should get to the end. It's a weird one, but we'll do it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, it comes away from it like that. So it needs a bit more glue. That's why. Well, it's coming off anyway. I don't need sorting that properly. Yeah, that didn't do very well, did it?
You know, anyway. Someone will sort out after. Yeah, can't use it because, yeah. Anyway, let's stop this video. Uh, that bit I won't put in. 